the Spidey debacle. Yeah. What do you make of it? What happens to Happy in May now? What happens to Happy in May? Well, I guess Happy single again. <laughs> no. After all that time, it took 10 years for him to get into a good relationship. Yeah. I, you know, it's still early days, and I'm, I'm as a fan, I'm cautiously hopeful that something will come together because I think all the fans want to see those characters together. I don't mean Happy in May. I mean. I mean Spidey with, with uh, the MCU. So, um, you know, it's still early days and things, you know, you don't always, what you read isn't always indicative of where things are at now. Mm -hmm. So I uh, hopefully I'll find out more while I'm here. But, uh, but as a fan, I'm, I'm hopeful that, you know, cautiously optimistic, yeah. uh, holding out hope that, that uh, this isn't the final chapter of that story. How does it feel to be a Disney legend? I think it's fun to be here at D23 at all. And then to be on stage with people like Robert Downey Jr., who I came up with in, in the in the Marvel world, is really is really quite. Um, I'm very grateful for it. it. It's it's really nice to be uh, alongside of not just the people on stage today, but all the pioneers of animation and of storytelling of all the you know innovators in technology, theme parks. I think it's had tremendous impact. If you look at what Disney started and how that's influenced. Uh, all other studios and theme parks and, and animation, it's, uh, it's, it's quite uh, an honor to be alongside of like the nine old men and the people who, who were the pioneers uh, of that craft.